So Concord Rangers against Bow City, Vanarama National League side. We're finally going to get underway. A couple of minutes past three o'clock. He checks Patrick Oman making his home debut for Concord is ready too. And away we go at last. It's touched back to Theobald's and a Penal. Concord back line. Concord wearing yellow shirts, blue shorts and blue socks. Bow City, incidentally black and white stripes, black shorts and white socks. Played inside again to Theobald's. Plays some lofted ball over the top, which is company headed away from Parcel. It's two-man wharf, Bow City. It's around 30 yards out on the Concord left. Whipped into a good area and the flag has gone up for our side. Porchy. There's Aroma. There to Blackman. Back to Beckett. Distribution from the backs left and down on this occasion as Parcells looking to find Fletcher who looks offside. He latches onto it. Oh, the flag stays down. Fletcher, why do the penalty here? Fletcher tried to play it across. Comes off Penel, comes off last for a corner. Lines takes his corner, this time on the right hand side. It'll be an in swinger. Uh, sorry, an out swinger. Which it is. It's headed in easily from Cody Cook. The marking was dreadful. The header home was powerful. It beats the goalkeeper who all ends up. Six minutes gone. Perfect start for Bar City. Cody Cook back in the team, back on the score sheet. Concord nil. Bar City won. Lovely stuff, Dan. Yeah, and what head injury, eh? <laughs> I think his eye must be feeling a little bit better after that now. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a good start. Brilliant ball in from Linesy, but much better than his first one. And um, yeah, Cody Cook was there to uh, duly oblige and do what he does and let's put the ball in the back of the net. Doesn't miss, does he? Ten goals this season already for Cody Cook. Scored the winner against Concord at home last season. He's broken the deadlock. So it's Fletcher now on the right hand side. Plays it across, looking for Cook. Beckett stretches out a leg. It's a volley in over the top of the bar. That play was Cook. Slight miscontrol, but managed to be picked up from Fletcher near the corner of the penalty area. Nice spokes. 30 yards out. Good ball actually to Wilson on the edge of the box. Wilson trying to make space for himself. Turns away from trouble. Still Wilson staying on his feet. This is a brilliant run. It's now found Hayfield in the penalty area. Hayfield, oh, flushes it wide. That was excellent play from Scott Wilson. Hayfield's claiming that there was a touch in there and it should be a corner. And I think had it gone to a left-footed player, that would have been 2-0. <laughs> we'll get back to that later. It's Fletcher now, 30 yards out. Central Fletcher, left-footed shot. It's charged down. It almost deflected kindly. It does in the end come for... Jones and the flag, I think, have gone up. Just like to feed out wide a lot. Here's Fletcher on the edge of the box. I think he anticipated that Popo was so close to him as Parcel tries to play over to the right side. an intended pass rather than long ball, but it's now one back from Concord. The Blackman who turns inside of spokes. He's going to get cautioned, I think. Which I think is a little bit harsh. There's a foul in the midfield area, and indeed it is the first yellow card of the game. Oh, the lines might fancy a. A go. Let's see. No skip. Oh, he deflected behind. And in the end, I think it was Parcel on the back post. Managed to play it. He didn't go for goal. It was a deliberate cross. It's cleared this time from Ramsey over to the left. It's not worked out to be a bad ball, actually, if Ioma gets there first. He's got there before Jones, who committed. He missed. Now Ioma. Edge of the penalty area. Drawn wide. Still Ioma. Far too many step overs. And Jones recovers for his error and puts it out of play. As Fletcher flicks it towards halfway, Cook is held. The referee plays advantage. Fletcher now onto Wilson. Oman's off his line and clears it well. They're going to have to go back surely and caution Pennell because he wrestled Cook to the floor. He was stayed down. I'm feeling that something happened off the ball, which I had my eye on the pass. But Pennell just sort of grabbed his arm and tore him down. He's hurt his shoulder actually. Now he plays it to Reigns on the right hand side. Whilst Dan's thinking back to his first appearance with the Romans. Now he's lifting behind to Fletcher. Good play now. Hayfield, edge of the box. Hayfield shoots. Good save from Oman. It bounces back and Pennell is there to cover. It really opened up quickly for Hayfield. He's had to fill in a right back recently with City's defensive shortages. As now Reigns, the current right back, picks it up. Gets in a great ball. Just misses Cook. And fortunately for Concord, it misses Wilson as well. Completely bypassed him. It's a tremendous delivery from Reigns. Got assist here a couple of years ago. Now Parcel gliding forward to Jones on the left hand side. This ball is charged down instantly from Modest. Hayfield on the edge of the box. Oh, he's brought down from Blackman. And necessarily, when he tried to play the ball over the left hand side, it's a good position this for City. 19 yards out. Referee, make sure their wall doesn't advance. Who's going for it? It's Hayfield, low, blocks hit the wall, and Hayfield tries to charge in again. Now Lines chips it towards the back post, it's comfortably gathered. Uh, they tried to be a bit sneaky there, Bar City. Distribution for the moment is terrible. It's thrown straight to Spokes on the right hand side. He's now found Cook. 
Got away from Popo, sends a ball in and uh, it's gone out of play for a corner. Lines delivers, near post, headed away from Popo just before Fletcher and Blackman helps it further clear to Ioma. Marvellous ball control, and then Modest is set away on the left-hand side, but City again, plenty of men back to deal with any potential danger. Modest plays it straight against line, uh, against Reigns. His ball is long and headed away from Dyer. Fletcher does very well under pressure to get a flick onto Spokes. Now Fletcher again, then the right-hand side. Cook's waiting in the middle, as is Wilson. Still Fletcher, he's going to run inside. Now inside the penalty area, still going Fletcher. Drives across, oh, somehow it's flashed through everybody, and it's gone behind for a goal kick. Do you think that was an intended shot or cross, Dan? Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's probably one of those ones you just put in that back post area and kind of up for the best. But I think that's unbelievable play from there, really. His touch to start where it was almost Cantona-esque. <laughs> and I think then he's twisted their left back inside out and then he's very unlucky not to produce a goal at the end of it. City on the front foot looking to add another before the break. His spokes down the right-hand side. Is it against Ioma? That's the final action of the first half. And a thoroughly good one at that. Bar City took an early lead. Cody Cook's sixth minute header. Powerful one from Chris Lines' corner. His tenth goal of the season. Concord have offered very little in response. Bar City have been well organised. They pressed well. They've looked comfortable on the ball. And as you said a few minutes ago, Dan Greenslade, a pretty much perfect away performance so far. Yeah, definitely. Like I said the only thing that's been missing is probably another goal or two. So hopefully, hopefully we can go in half time, get a bit of get a bit of energy into the lads, and hopefully we can go again first half, keep up applying pressure really high, and hopefully we can go and grab a few more goals and uh, keep pushing up the league. Blackman is over this free kick right inside, 35 yards out, floats it, where Green tries to get a header on. It's helped further forward towards Modest from Beckett, but easy gathered from right as Omen takes this free kick, long and central. It's another awkward one. Oh, it nearly banked straight in. It was Modesto who was challenging for it. Wright was a little bit hesitant. He's flicked it over the bar. That would have been an extraordinary level. It's actually Concord's first attempt on target, and it's come from a goalkeeper. Right through illness, he missed Tuesday as well. He's a good dominant goalkeeper. There's now Spokes on the right-hand side. One for Wilson, flag stays down on the right-hand side. Wilson's got away from Beckett now. Wilson's gone down, surely a penalty. It is all day long. Beckett hauled him to the floor. Bow City win a lot of penalties in this fixture. Third year running, they've got this one, and I don't think the centre-back can have any complaints, Dan. No, definitely. I think we're just talking for um, at the start of the second half. There any balls down the side, they look like they've struggled, they look vulnerable. I think that looked like a penalty from the get-go. I think they sent it off, didn't let go. Scott, you'll be down the channel. So, Cody Cook. Record from the spot, he scored nine from 11. Scored his last one at Oxford City. Can he make it 2-0? Against Omen. Cook, the usual long wait. He steps up and scores! He puts it to the goalkeeper's left. He went the right way, but he put it perfectly into the bottom corner. 58 minutes, Cody Cook on the double, Bar City on the double, Concord nil, Bar City two. It's a very good penalty, wasn't it? Right in the corner. I don't think the keeper had any chance really, even though you went, even though you went the right way. Yeah, you, you can always tell it's good because the keeper's almost at full stretch that way. And it's rare actually. Cody Cook is very good at sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. So that demonstrates how well he places it. But he, he puts a lot of practice into them, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. No, you're right. I think at the end of training sessions, you often see him on a Thursday night practicing his penalties. And I think especially after the one when he missed a few weeks back. 11 goals this season for Cody Cook. Goes back to Beckett, who conceded that penalty. Button with an important headed interception from near the edge of his own penalty area. Again, just a rush clearance from Concord. So he needs to try and settle down. It's a wasteful header from Parcel. It's now helped forward to Modest on the right hand side. That's not a bad ball over the top. It's from the green, and he's half volleyed it well wide. And that perhaps sums up Concord's afternoon because he's usually such a good striker of the ball. I mean, he hit it well, but the accuracy was poor. Cook's trying to spin off his man. He's having his shot tugged all over the place. At the moment, there was a free header from Batten who put it over. They were so distracted, I think, in trying to foul Cook that they missed the centre back. He couldn't keep it down. It's out for a goal kick. With 19 minutes remaining, City lead 2 0. It's up to Williamson. Good touch inside to Kai near the corner of the punch area where he was deadly last year. He's cut inside. He tried to repeat what he did, but it was blocked this time from Lines. Picked up from Theobald midway inside the Bar City half. Conkle pressing a little bit here with Ramsey down the right. Wilson trying to do some defensive work and at the concession of a corner. Left footed, wicked delivery, headed away from Button and that's a clear foul from Theobald and Spokes. And uh, a needless one actually because it was so late they would have had a throw in deep in Bar City territory and instead that kills a bit more time. 
as Wright takes his free kick on the edge of his box. Long and central. Good flick on from Cook. Carried from Fletcher. Now to Cook. Gone down on the edge of the penalty area. He's appealing for a foul from uh, Ramsey. The referee doesn't think so. Backtracking now is Smokes. Williamson back to Green. Neat little touch inside to Blanchfield. The players from Concord. Green. To Williamson, now to Kai. First good spell of the game, really. Kai thwarted a little bit from Reigns. Hayfield's back to defend. This is an excellent move, actually. Is Williamson now back to Green? Cutting infield, 25 yards out. Trying to skip the other side of his man. Still Green. What an inception that is from Batson. He stretched out, won the ball, and it goes behind for a goal kick. That was the first sign of really good patient build-up play, which we saw from Concord more last season. And City were fortunate that their centre-back was alert to the danger. And credit the City as well, who have frustrated them and maybe forced them into such errors here in Essex. And we've got seven and a half minutes remaining as Wright is going to be cautioned for time-wasting. Third yellow card for Bath City this afternoon. And a couple of uh, City players on the go at Mr Farmer, herding around Farmer. Hayfield as well. I think the question is that the assistant told him to take it in a different place is what Jerry is debating as well. Hayfield nudges it back to Reigns over the top for Fletcher. Popo gets a header away. Hayfield picks up the loose ball on the right side, running away from Green near the byline. He's got support behind him from Lines. Lines with a first time cross, hanging towards the back post. Cook goes down. There's a little bit of a push from Ramsey. City lead 2 0. Blanchard receives the ball from the throw and he's been robbed from Spokes. And he's fouled off the ball. That should be a caution. And it's Concord's first yellow card of the game. Parcel helps it forward onto the band of young Concord fans over on the far side. They trail 2-0. There's going to be another yellow card here. Uh, Presumed for time wasting. Cuts inside. Sneaks one in behind the Williamson in the penalty area. It's chipped over. It's a dangerous ball and then brought in the header away from Reigns. Popo was lurking behind him. Kept in play from Thompson. Now Kai calling the penalty area. Curls it and it deflects unwittingly off the backside of Blanchard, which takes all the sting out of it. And holding the big centre back who squares it to Popo. To Kai on halfway. Trying to hold off Reigns. Lost out as Kai. Been superbly marshalled. Now Hayfield running central, squares it to Spokes onto Cook, left hand side near the corner of the penalty area. But to Spokes, Spokes might want fancy a shot. He does. Oh, and the goalkeeper scrambling over to his right hand side, so he must have thought he was sneaking in. Corner this time, headed away from Green. Hayfield picks it up on the edge of the box. He tried to shoot, but Blanchard gets in the way. Plays it back to Green with aimless ball forward straight onto the boot of Jack Button who comfortably brings it down and then side fizzes it to Reigns, inside to Spokes. He's been good today, Luke Spokes, from the best appearance in the Bassi show. It could be his first 90 minutes as well. Here's Hayford threaded through, there's a chance for Fletcher, the flag's gone up. And it's offside, but that was a really nice move from Bar City. Let's see this one out. Played three minutes of stoppage time, Concord nil, Bar City two. And that's the end of this contest. As I just said, Concord nil, Bow City 2, a Cody Cook double, six minute header from Chris Lines' corner where the marking was, well, invisible, frankly. And uh, Cody Cook made it 2 0 on 58 minutes. Scott Wilson was hauled to the floor from Harvey Beckett. And Cook, ever so often, is lethal from the spot he was yet again. He uh, put it where Omen had dived the right way, but it was out of reach from the Swedish goalkeeper to wrap this one up. Concord threatened very little. It was a pretty flat performance from the host. Bar City comfortable. Defensive record has improved. It's a clean sheet. They're second in the league this season. And uh, I don't think many people can have too many complaints about that scoreline, can they, Dan? No, definitely. I think, as you rightly said, then it's a very professional um, afternoon for us today. I think it was brilliant at the back. I thought Jack Pat, when he came on, was absolutely superb. But they didn't lose a head, and he's brilliant on the ball. I think it was, if I'm quite honest, against a quite a poor Concord team where you can see it just lost of all confidence at the moment. I said uh, my contender for man of the match, I thought Luke Spokes was excellent in midfield. He picked up a booking on 22 minutes as well, so he got to be more disciplined. He hardly misjudged a tackle or, or anything like that and really fought his battles well, won a lot of them. Hayfield and lines alongside him. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think we weren't necessarily wonderful with the ball, but I think we created our chances. Uh, we scored our goals nice and early in both halves and I think we've just done enough and then we controlled the game 
without the ball, which was nice to see, as I don't think we've done that often enough this season. Cody Cook, two goals back into the team. That header as well, and he's got that sort of gash near his eye or scar, whatever it may be. Very brave to thump it home. It, it gave City just the ideal platform to build off, and I, I think it was a big part of the game because an early goal against the team out of confidence is always going to help. Yeah, definitely. I think we've praised him pretty much all afternoon here, haven't we? But I think we've seen his, how viable he is both in our um, up the up, up both ends of the box. Sorry. So I think we've seen him score a goal, but I think he also added three or four. Um, three of their four their corners away. So I think it was a good performance from Cody. He just gives us, as you said, that platform to play off. You said what the messages were at half time. So it looks to me like the team took them all on board today. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a job well done. I know, like I said, it's a very professional afternoon for the team. And it just as they're giving us a bit of stick as they walk off. Giving you a bit of stick. They'll never give me stick. They like, <laughs> they like me. <laughs> Thank you all very much for tuning in. From me, Mark Stillman and Dan Greenslade. Finished Concord Rangers nil, Bar City 2.